I'ma crush it. Call me. Welcome to Unsung, our region's nonprofit news magazine show. I'm not Anthony Walker. I'm Christopher Whitlatch, and this is the one episode each year where I take over the show. Why? Because our host with the most is busy behind me playing video games. It's the 2013 Chachi Plays for Kids event, where Anthony Walker plays video games for 24 hours straight to raise money. This year, the proceeds are going to much-needed art and schools programs, benefiting art expressions and the Toonseum, which is where we are today. Last episode, we rocked it with Hip Hop on Lock and the Pittsburgh Promise. So this week, we're going to roll with a visit to Community Auto, which helps get our neighbors behind the wheels and in better jobs. We'll also take a peek at a new training program for teachers. Now here's the news. The Jewish Association on Aging announced the Charles M. Morris Nursing and Rehabilitation Center recently received a five-star rating from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid. The five-star rating program is based on health inspections, staffing, and quality measures. Congrats to the staff for an outstanding achievement and for providing exceptional care to our region's seniors. The Breathe Project, a coalition of scores of organizations and thousands of individuals working to improve the region's air quality, has teamed with the Pittsburgh Foundation in an online youth engagement program for local, middle, and high school students. The program, known as New Voices of Youth, the fourth of its kind for the Pittsburgh Foundation, gives young people in southwestern Pennsylvania an opportunity to make their voices heard about important community issues that affect their lives. Participants in this year's program are being asked to develop projects that raise awareness about air quality challenges in the Pittsburgh area and to help to clean the region's air. Detailed information about the program, including resources for teachers, and an educational toolkit about air quality is available at a special website developed as a hub to support the initiative at www.new-voices-of-youth.org. Entries should be submitted at the site. The closing date for the first round of entries is April 8th, 2013. Regular updates will be posted on the New Voices of Youth website detailing progress on student projects. Young people are also encouraged to participate in an online forum on the site by sharing photographs, essays, artwork, ideas, and comments that may help improve submitted entries and inspire new projects. Community Auto wants your car. Well, that is if you want to donate it. They will give it new life, helping others as they work towards their new life. Here's the story. Community Auto is a car donation program. We get cars donated from the community. We triage them. If the cars can be made into reliable transportation for working people, then we fix up the cars. If we can't fix them, then they go to auction or scrap. The cars that are fixed, we sell to low-income working families below market value. The purpose of the program is to get cars to low-income working individuals so that they can get to work and perhaps improve their employment prospects by being able to accept better employment that's not on a bus route. The issues I was having with transportation was getting back and forth from work and getting my daughter back and forth to daycare. I was actually um, using someone else's car which created issues where I was um, taking them back and forth or, you know, waiting for someone to pick me up. Before I had troubles keeping appointments, I had troubles doing basic things that I needed to do as far as getting back and forth to the grocery store, the doctor's appointments, taking my daughter back and forth to school, um, you know, getting prescriptions and things like that. So I had a lot of troubles getting around doing basic things that you need to do every day. And because I didn't live on the bus line, it was so hard for me to even get public transportation to most of these places. There's a kind of a crisis right now in Pittsburgh with public transportation. What we're hearing from people who apply to our program is that they can't get to their jobs on the bus line or if it's on a bus line the hours aren't good, they can't get there when their boss wants them to be there. Actually I thought it would, would be a hard thing and I was kind of intimidated about the program but actually the process was very easy and it was it was faster response than what I actually thought so it was a great thing. One gentleman got a car from us, he was working retail within two weeks had a really nice office job downtown. Um, another woman, a single mom with three kids, she got the car and, and she does home health care, was able to double her hours in, within a week or two of having the car. Yes, I've actually been seeking more employment 
and I'm also seeking to expand my salon business or actually relocate so with the vehicles actually allowing me to be able to travel back and forth to interviews back and forth to testing sites to do testing to career link to see what's out there also I'm looking for additional office space and things like that so I've been able to make those appointments and keep those appointments as well yeah, we always need volunteers. We have volunteers who help in the office, volunteers who help pick up people and bring them out here to look at a car or to buy a car. Uh, we also need people to help us get the word out so they can tell their church or civic group about us and allow us to come speak or put us in a newsletter. That'd be wonderful. I think for anyone that is low income or struggling single mother, if they're having trouble or problems or problems with transportation and things like that. I think this is a great program. It's actually something that needs to be out broadcast more because a lot of people don't know about it. Just that we right now we're very low on donations and whatever uh, we could get we'd be happy to get. So if people in the community have vehicles that they're not using and they would like to donate to us we'd greatly appreciate it. There is the opportunity if the car goes to a client to receive a greater tax deduction. You can contact us at 724-443-8300 or visit our website at www.communityauto.org. You can continue the discussion on Twitter, Community Auto is NH Community Auto, or use the hashtag pound unsung and tell us if you enjoyed this story. Transform Ed is a digital playground for teachers housed at the Allegheny Intermediate Unit. So how exactly are teachers going digital? Sprout Fund has the story. The Allegheny Intermediate Unit, often referred to as AIU-3, is one of 29 intermediate units across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. One of the things that intermediate units our intent and our purpose is really to connect schools with the resources. The other conversation was, are schools becoming places of kill and drill, test prep, kids don't want to be there, are we losing the fun, motivation, engagement of learning? We know that it is extremely important for us to prepare students for what lies ahead, to be creative, to be innovative, and to contribute. They are our future. Students are playing with technology at home. They come to school and they know more than the teachers. What is technology and how is that applied in our everyday thinking? Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could establish a regional center where teachers can come in a fun, non-threatening, casual environment and play with either new technologies or learn to use existing technology. And take that back and just do incredible creative applications in the classroom. The design of the room has been more than a year in the making. We started out last spring working with creative design teams, really um, experts from the Pittsburgh area where we were trying to problem solve through. How can we bring together at a stimulating environment for teachers, break down that mystery of how to use technology and create a center, and that's what Transform Ed really is. There are opportunities for technology here that a lot of people don't have in their districts. So it's not just, ooh, I need technology. It's like, if I had this technology, kids could do X, Y, and Z. This whole room is designed for teachers. It's around what they need to equip them to go out and to be a better teacher and to utilize that technology in a real way. The Transform Ed space is so interesting because it gives folks a place to come together to meet with like-minded folks and share their best and to learn things that they might not otherwise have an opportunity to experience. Today we are looking at iPads and working specifically with Prezi. Prezi is not a new technology and neither are iPads, but this space gives folks an opportunity to come together and learn about things that they might already have and can use for free and develop the skills that they can then take back to their schools. I was teaching Scratch. It's a programming language out of MIT. It's a very basic language. Many of our districts have middle school students that are learning Scratch. In fact, most of our students will pick it up quicker than we will as teachers because they're just so good at that kind of stuff. And then they're actually teaching younger students um, how to use it. This is uh, a 3D printer. So it will be the idea of you have this design and some special film that will allow you to make a model of whatever it is you're trying to create. It, it can't make really massive 
uh, objects. Uh, you could print key rings, uh, maybe a, a part for your bike even. I want to print off a new pair of shoes. <laughs> Everything about this room was put together for the people that will be using the room. Every part of the, the design detail work, the thinking process behind it will be about what can we give them to take away and what will be the pieces that will bring them back in over and over and over again so that this stays new, fresh. It's enabling people to collaborate, be creative, use these tools to, to change how we teach and learn. Improving student engagement and academic achievement. That is one of the reasons that this whole idea of Transform Ed, our connection with the Kids in Creativity Network is so very important. Welcome everybody to Transform Ed. If you are in the Westmoreland County area on February 23rd, head on over to the mall's center court and take the pledge to end the R word. There are other things happening as part of the event as well. Details are at www.westmorelandiddawareness.weebly.com. Want to watch the Oscars with friends? How about a lot of friends? On February 24th, the Hollywood Theater is having an Oscar party and you're invited. VIP balcony tickets are $25 and regular seats are just $10, popcorn's included as well, and games and trivia during the breaks. While you're there, ask them about the Go Dark campaign and consider supporting their efforts to go digital. Tickets are at www.showclicks.com slash event slash Oscar party. The fourth annual Pittsburgh Service Summit, coordinated by local nonprofit organization Get Involved Incorporated, will be held on Tuesday, February 26, 2013, at Carlo University from 4.30 to 8.30 p.m. Keynote speakers for the 2013 Service Summit include Sally Wigan, Ian Rosenberger, and Salim Gabriel. The co MCs will be Amy Jo Brown and Tom Baker. The Service Summit brings together hundreds of students, young professionals, and community leaders to learn from keynote speakers about best practices and strategies to make a larger difference in the region. Through the dozens of community vendors who participate, attendees will learn about ways to become more engaged in the city through civic involvement opportunities. Awards are also presented at the event to the annual Get Involved honorees and the Western PA Rising Stars. For additional details, contact Tom Baker at thomas.baker at getinvolvedinc.org. You might have recognized story tags and Twitter handles after our stories. We invite you to continue the conversation by tagging the nonprofit or using the story tag on Twitter. You can also get in touch with us on Twitter at PGH on video or pound unsung. Thank you for watching Unsung. Share it with your friends. Or check out previous episodes in our Unsung Uncut series on pittsburghonvideo.org. Got a nonprofit you think is cool? Let us know why, and you just might find yourself on a future episode of Unsung. Email me at whitlatchc at pghfdn.org. I'm Christopher Whitlatch, filling in for the always awesome Anthony Walker. And to borrow his line, keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. I'ma crush it. Call me the golden boy, cause it shine whenever I touch it. Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally. Actually, the whole hood after me. Masterpiece, I outran a pace car.